Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to use countdown triggers in vMix. So as of vMix 21, we've added the ability to perform a function when a countdown finishes. So for those that don't use vMix, a trigger allows you to perform a function on an input. So for example, if you wanted something to happen in your production when a video finished, you can set up a trigger to do that. So I'm going to show you how to set up the countdown trigger right now. So we're just going to go to add input and we're going to go to the title section and add a countdown timer. So I'm going to go into the countdown settings here and I'm just going to make it five seconds just to make it nice and easy. I'm going to set my um, starting time to five, create a preset down here um, so we're ready to go. Now as you can see here we've got this red timer. We see, I see people not changing this so feel free to go ahead and like change all the coloring and stuff. Um, you can make changes to this like you would any other title. Um, change the font, change the size. Um, I just noticed that lately a lot of people have just been using this bright red countdown timer. Um, so I'm just going to change it a little bit. And obviously you can add this to a multi-view or, or an overlay and add it to the corner or add it to different areas of your production. Um, Alright, so I'm going to close that down now. I'm just going to add a video um, so that I can do something with it. Alright, so when you want to actually create the trigger, you just need to go into the input and go into the trigger section which is just down here. Now you notice that there's a bunch of different columns here and this is what you can set up for your trigger. So here's the drop down menu, you can do things like when a, an input completes, when you transition into it, when you transition out, when you overlay, overlay out, when it hits a certain audio decibel level, um, but right down the bottom you'll see on countdown completed. So that's what we're going to select. So we need to set it up, set this trigger up for the title that the countdown is on. So then we need to select one of our 300 functions that we want to choose. Anything from transitioning to a camera, um, turning audio on and off, PTZ control, replay, streaming, all that stuff can be controlled from a trigger. So I'm just going to do a wipe transition and I'm going to select the video that I added before. Now I could add a delay to that as well, so if I wanted to make it happen five seconds after the countdown uh, finishes or something like that, I can set the delay here. So I'm going to click add. And now I've got when the countdown finishes, it's going to wipe to my video um, with no delay. Now just make sure that when you use this drop down menu that you select on countdown completed. I have been um, tricked before when we first started doing it because on completion kind of looks like on countdown completion. So make sure that you do select that one if you want to do it for the countdown. All right, so now I'm just going to start my countdown. Um, just go back into the title editor and start my countdown and when it finishes it's going to transition to this here. Okay, so that's how you set up the countdown trigger in vMix. Now if you have any questions about triggers feel free to watch one of the videos um, that I'm going to link in the description below that have a little bit more information about triggers. Um, if you have any questions about vMix feel free to uh, send us an email via the support page on vMix.com. Thanks for watching and um, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.